Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to turn on that missing command line, uh, maybe bring back some missing tabs or a toolbar, fix your workspace or bring that ribbon back that went missing. Uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it, it's going to save you a lot of frustration and time searching around. Uh, and if you like this tip along with any of my others on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar. I'll put a discounted link down in the description as well as up above right now. Let's get started. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna try and get through these quick, but we're gonna touch on a bunch. So first up, if your command line down here is missing, uh, the quickest way to bring it back is by hitting control and holding it down and then hitting nine. So I'm removing it right now, but I'm gonna say yes. So if your command line is missing, you're gonna hold control and hit nine and that's gonna bring it back. The same goes if you'd like to remove it, you can simply use the quick command, control and nine and it's gonna ask you to confirm, simply saying yes is gonna remove it. So we're gonna bring that back we're going to move on to the next one. So what do you do if these tabs down here at the bottom have gone missing? So this is your layout and model space tabs. Uh, sometimes they're just not going to be there. So if you right click and go to your options menu or type in options, you can simply turn them on and off by going to the display tab over here and down to display layout and model tab. So I've unchecked that and hit apply. You can see they've disappeared. So you just wanna double check and make sure that is turned on to make sure your tabs are showing. All right, so the next thing that could go wrong or be missing for your workspace would be the menu or toolbar up along the top here where it would say like file and that kind of stuff. So to bring that back or turn it on in case you miss it or would like to see it, you can simply type in menu bar and change that variable to one. That's gonna give you uh, these options up along the top here that you may have been missing or that you like for some reason. Uh, you can also turn that off by changing it to zero, uh, entering in that menu bar command again and changing the variable to zero. Uh, next up would be toolbars. So if you right click up in the top ribbon area here, you can access the various tabs, toolbars and palette or panels. Uh, if you don't have any tool palette groups, you can simply go to the manage tab here and hit the tool palette button. This is gonna let you create groups uh, by simply dragging the tool palettes you'd like into the groups area, naming it a group name. So I'm just gonna call this one new group and then closing it. So you could turn these on by right clicking up in the ribbon area and just choosing your new group from here. If you can't see it after selecting it, you can right click again and choose show related tool palette group. And that's going to open it up. Mine came in my second screen there, but you can see I've got my group now brought in. Uh, next up is the ribbon or uh, menu bar up here, the main ribbon. So occasionally this will disappear or maybe you've turned it off on purpose and can't remember how to get it back. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's controlled by the ribbon and ribbon close commands. So if I type in ribbon close, you can see that my ribbon has disappeared from up here, uh, which can be frustrating. So if you want to bring that back quickly, simply type in ribbon to bring the ribbon bar back. A lot of these can also be solved or fixed by simply changing your workspace from one to another, which can be done down here by clicking on this gear looking icon and choosing another workspace. You can see everything's gonna change in this case to the 3D workspace, but by going back, it's going to reset your workspace, including your toolbars and panel, uh, palettes, uh, most of your settings back to the way they were when you created or saved it. In this case, it's just the default. Uh, you could also create custom workspaces based on the type of work you're doing. Uh, I've also got a video on that. If you want to check it out, I can put the link in the description down below. So that's it for today's video. Uh, hopefully now you don't have to search around to turn your command line back on or your palettes or maybe even your ribbon. Uh, if you've got any specific questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, 
And if you guys like this tip, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and then check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar to save a ton of time. It's an hour long. It's packed full of great tips and tricks and workflows to save you guys time. Uh, and it's 20% off right now. I'll put that link down below as well. Thanks for watching and cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.